been looking for a spot where you could display your talents like an open mic night and a karaoke night or even just a night once a week where y'all can jam out then you come to the right place because we're gonna go ahead and tackle that ray lewis style right now what's up everybody this is phil scott and you're watching word of mouth tv this is a space where you can watch some of our performances as well as getting tips and tricks to help your artistic professionalism go to the next level if you find that this information is helpful to you go ahead and hit that thumbs up button as well as you can go ahead and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with more word of mouth content if you have been searching for a place that you can display your talent or display your art or do whatever as well as if you're not necessarily feeling comfortable with spaces that are already available for you to display your art you might want to look into making your own night or an open mic night and these are some tips that where you can actually get into that the first thing that you want to do when you're trying to start this open mic is ask yourself why why do you want to start this open mic what is the main reason that you want to do this who are you going to be servicing what are the people that you want to attract to this open mic and why do you want to attract them there because if you don't know then they don't know who is your open mic going to be servicing that is different from the ones that are already up and running. If there's already an open mic that services the crowd that you're trying to attract, then there's no need, there's a conflict of interest. So what you need to do is find out the reason why you want to start this open mic. The second thing, which is probably one of the more important subjects of creating an open mic is the location. Location is everything. The location sets the mood and the ambiance of what you're trying to create with your open mic. So if it's not right, then you're not gonna attract the people that you need to attract. Also with the location, if the business owner doesn't really see a need for your uh, open mic, they could try and be shy to you and try and kind of shortchange you. So that, that's the reason for a lot of open mics actually disappearing is because the location was actually trying to take a lot of money out of the open mic when the open mic was only trying to service people that didn't have a voice. And so you need to figure out who in your community is up for actually having an open mic because they'll be more open to having their establishment open to you all to where you guys can do what you guys do. The third thing that I suggest is that you actually have a team for your open mic. You need a couple people to help you out in actually running your open mic. The actual show that we host is every third Friday of the month at World of Coffee and Teas over in Ebor 1811 North 15th Street in Ebor City. And so when we host our shows, I at least need three people at our event. One person to work at our front door, one person to DJ, and one person to actually host. With those three people, we can actually run a very effective open mic. The fourth thing that you need to consider is what is successful to you? What does success look like to you? Is it the growth of the artists that are in your open mic over a period of time? Is it the amount of money that you take in? Is it the amount of publicity that you get from this actual open mic? What does success look like to you? If you don't know what success looks like to you, then you'll never be satisfied with the actual results of your open mic. And the fifth tip, get up and do it. You gotta get up. You gotta go out in these streets and you need to talk to people and get this thing going. An open mic is great, a slam night is great, a karaoke night is great, but it will never happen if you don't get up and actually do it. Go actually talk to the people, talk to business owners. It's all up to you to create that space that you see in your vision and your dream. Question of the day, are there any additional steps that need to be taken in forming an open mic? If so, go ahead and place your comments in the section below along with any other ideas that you may have because your ideas could become the next video. If you like what you saw in the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more word of mouth content because we're definitely going to be coming out with some new stuff. You really need to consider. The fourth thing that you really need to consider, my fingers are, my fingers are long. You want to put some